Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. And did you know that only female mosquitoes drink blood? Well, today's video, I'm gonna talk all about what do mosquitoes eat. So a common question that we get is, you know, do mosquitoes eat only blood? And the answer is actually no. What happens is only the female mosquitoes drink blood. And the reason for that is they're the ones that are producing eggs, they're breeding, they're producing offspring, and they need protein for that. So female mosquitoes are actually the only, you know, half of the species that are drinking blood from you. So it might seem like every single mosquito out there is, you know, aiming for biting you, but in reality, it's just the females that are doing that. Now, female mosquitoes will feed off of all kinds of different animals. It might seem like Humans are the only thing they feed off of, right? But they feed off of livestock, mammals, reptiles, birds. And the list basically goes on and on, right? Anything that has blood, they're going to want to feed off of it. And so the reason, though, why humans seem to be an easy target or why they go after us so much, there's a lot of different factors that go into that. Some of them are things like size of prey, the speed of prey, uh, the carbon dioxide released, and location as well. So one thing that humans tend to do is we actually hang out a lot near mosquito breeding grounds. We actually create areas that are great for them to breed and live. So one thing that you want to do to help prevent mosquitoes is to stay away from those areas, one, but then also help eliminate those as well. So mosquitoes really like to breed and lay their eggs in stagnant water. And so that can occur a lot of different ways. You might have ponds near your home, you might have pools, uh, you might leave pet dishes out, uh, there might be rainstorms, you don't know, clean up water that is stagnant that's been laying out and about in like pots and plants and buckets, different things like that, right? So you can take an active role in removing those water sources, making sure your pools are properly treated, and then having your home treated um, for mosquitoes as well in your backyard and areas such as that. So again, if we're in close proximity to these areas, there we're an easy target, as well as we produce a lot of carbon dioxide. So, you know, compared to like a frog or a rodent or a bird, different things like that, they produce far less carbon dioxide than we as humans do. And then we have a unique smell to mosquitoes. So that's a an attraction factor for them for us as well. And then again, a lot of times when we're outdoors it's for humans at this point it's kind of leisure activity right so a lot of times when we're sitting by a bonfire we're hanging out by the pool you know we're hanging out in the yard playing yard games different things like that right so a lot of times we're sedentary and not even moving so we're not trying to get away from the mosquitoes at all so again that's another reason why we're kind of an easy target for mosquitoes and why they come after us a lot. <laughs> um, another thing to, to keep in mind though is again, like I said, females are really the only ones that are breeding or, and therefore eating blood and needing that protein. And so mosquitoes in general, males and females, they're a lot like other insects where they basically require sugar sources as their food source. So most mosquitoes are going to feed off of nectar um, from flowers and plants and things like that, similar to like honeybees and, and other pests. And again, that's usually what the males are going to be feeding off of, but females do it as well when they're not necessarily breeding. Now, mosquitoes also have kind of a unique mouthpiece, I guess you could call it, and it's modified, and females are actually specifically modified so it's easier for them to feed off of blood and drink blood. So again, mosquitoes in general, they're going to be feeding off of the plant sources and nectar and the sugar sources that they can find. But again, if it's the females in the case that they're also going to be breeding soon and laying eggs, they're also going to be feeding off of blood to get that protein source. It's kind of cool. They actually have two different digestive tracts or two areas kind of in their gut. One is going to be for digesting the sugar sources and then another is going to be for digesting that blood and that protein sources. So again, kind of some cool facts that you might not have known about mosquitoes that again, they're biting you. It's the females that are doing that and the males are most likely hanging out feeding off of flowers and nectar and things like that. So hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share.
And then if you do have mosquito issues, you're looking for a mosquito treatment that can help thin out their numbers and help keep your family safe and you know away from getting mosquito bites all summer long, be sure to head on over to rovepestcontrol.com sign up for a mosquito treatment service with us. And if you do happen to be a first time customer with us, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information there for $50 off your first service with us. So again, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com for all your pest control and mosquito care needs. And thanks so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.